Well, here we go. It's match day. It's Sunderland versus Agrid and Stanley at the stadium at light on a Friday night for the purposes of Sky Sports. And I'm going for a 3-0 victory and Will Grigg to finally light the fire. Yep, hopefully Will Grigg will light the fire and we can come away with three points tonight. And I'll see you at the match. <laughs> I'll talk you through the moves. Right, this is the uh, the jumping up and down punch in the alley. The, the religious praise the Lord. Hallelujah! Come on, Jesus! Hallelujah! The religious man. He does the robots. Do the robots. My personal favourite. The leg. Do the leg. Do the leg. Have a shot on us, so be cheer for Foxy. <laughs> However, the loser, I James, just stand in the middle there. I, if you're gonna be sick, be sick in the fucking bucket, please. I, I, and you've got to drink it. Down in one. I, so when you're ready, here we go. Down in one. That's the. It's embarrassing. We are absolutely garbage at this moment in time. Not one shot on target. It's pathetic. What's going on with this fucking midfield, man? Kano, over to you. I'm lost for words. We're just uh, not firing. We're just not playing. We basically uh, we shite. 
half time with Sunderland in the lack of the Stanley one. This is fucking embarrassing. It's the worst we've played all season. It's absolutely pathetic. We can't put two fucking passes together. 44 minutes for our first shot on target. Why isn't Flanagan and Baldwin in the centre of defence? Why isn't Catamore? Power starting. We need Maguire on the bench, man. We need Maguire on the pitch. It's absolutely pathetic. This is garbage. It's relegation material, not fucking promotion material. It's fucking pathetic. Kano. There's only one thing I've got to do, and it's got to be me jockey, like. Oh, even the <laughs> jockey couldn't save us the fucking day, man. Jack Ross, sort this fucking team out now. Absolutely dire. It's the worst I've seen for a long time. We're going downhill. What's happened since the January window? Fucking lead bitter and honey in the middle. I've had nothing all fucking game, nothing. Can't have more than power on. I bring them to one, that's all we can do. I hate slagging the team off, but this has been the worst performance of the season so far. We are just going downhill. We won't even make the playoffs at this fucking rate. It's only half time, come on. <laughs> Shout your names out, lads. Oli! Oli! What can we do at half time? What can Jack do at half time? Yeah, yeah, Tom Flanagan, 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 Ray. Right, me with Raymondo today. Raymondo, and where's Wally now? Because someone's pissed me fucking hat. Right, Ray, what's going on? Why? Thank you. Oh, that's it. Right. Bring the camera, come on. Sorry, I'm talking, sorry. Bring Mr. Gear and I'm going to before he takes one. You know, that penalty is bold and shocking. Great shocking on him. I think we get it. Why? He never caught the ball. Not once has he taken that ball. What, what is Jack Ross going to do second half? Sterling, Maguire, Power, oh, have them all, a whole new team. The whole the midfield shine. It is. It is. Power. So bring, bring it. You can change any foot anywhere in the or all four of them. It's in the trap. You're just missing the midfield out all together. Deep in between you. They have scored in five league matches. What is going on? Well, it was a definite penalty. Oh, tell them, tell them. Definitely a penalty. You're Jack Ross of half time. What would you say to the players? I would say, if you don't, 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 I think we've lost our way. I still think we've got to look two more from the back. Once you get up to there, this is big. You should be built up from that. No service for Greek whatsoever. Well, he got one shot, didn't he? Uh, one shot. One score. One Z. One, one nil. One nil. One nil. What's that say there? Okay. Where's Wally? Where's Wally? <laughs> Joe. Joe. Alex. Alex. Finley. Cameron. What should we change at half time? The king! The king! Come on! What's the score going to be? 2 1 to 1. 2 1 to 1. 3 1. Come on! There's one. There's one. There's one. There he is! It's Sunderland Neil at the Stanley Tier. This is fucking absolutely abysmal. Abysmal. He finally makes the substitution and we 2 0 down. Absolutely terrible. Oh, no. 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 Right off Maguire run. We need a fucking miracle, so we Southern fans don't deserve it. You can support it, man! Yeah. Southern run 
Matt Riddle standing to McGuire being brought on straight away McGuire yeah. okay. and Sunderland score Bang yeah. the Sunderland score Honeyman well done Fuck off! Three again. Good. Three was the full time report. Well, I thought we we just about deserved it. It's the draw, but the, the only big difference was when Maguire came on. Maguire? Should Maguire. have been on half time? Aye, uh, Maguire made the difference Should have started. Maguire is fucking the king. Yeah, I thought Gooch was poor. Uh, didn't get into the game at all. I thought Honeyman was a waste. Honeyman was a waste. He uh, scored the first goal, but... Aye, uh, he, he did. But, because Maguire was I on the pitch. I thought McGeady had a kind of game. McGeady. He looked better when... when uh, Maguire came on. Aye. But, but, but I, I don't think we're going to go up. Was the last goal offside though? Was it offside? I think Fucking so. shite, mate. Shit, <laughs> 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 yeah. Aye, it was offside. Offside, aye. aye. Definitely. And theirs was a penalty. Aye, it was a so, penalty, aye. So I think a draw was a fair result. Aye, we must not. Aye. I would say so. Aye. We should be hammering things like that. We should be hammering them, shouldn't we? Aye, right there. Yeah, we can look Well, here we go. It's finished Sunderland 2, Accurate and Stanley 2. And what a fucking disgraceful first half performance from the Sunderland Football Club. Absolutely embarrassing. We are the embarrassment of the northeast of football at this moment in time. It's absolutely pathetic. Take a, not McLaughlin. I'm going to give fucking a bye to McLaughlin. I'm going to give Reese Jones a bye. And I'm going to give fucking 9 a bye. But the rest of the team were absolutely shocking in the first half. That's embarrassment. Absolutely embarrassing. Not one player out there had any sort of amb ambition. Not one player out there had any sort of fucking drive, passion, determination, one will, desire to win that fucking football match. It was an embarrassment game of football. Our midfield is piss poor. Absolutely piss poor Accurate and Stanley haven't scored a goal in five fucking league matches and they put two past Sunderland. That's how fucking shite we are at this moment in time. Ever since the January window opened, ever since fucking New Year's Day, we've been Blackpool 1-0. We've been absolutely terrible. Terrible. Not one of those players on there. On, again, like I said before, Take away McLaughlin and probably all nine and James, but the rest of the players in the first half, not one of them players, wore the fucking shirt with pride. Fucking absolutely, it's pathetic. Pathetic performance in the first half. 1-0 down, Baldwin's awful challenge, give away a penalty. McLaughlin couldn't save the penalty. The penalty was well taken by Ackwright and Stanley. Ackwright and Stanley fans never stopped singing the whole of the time behind me. Centre of the park, Ledbetter and Honeyman were absolutely chronic. Awful. What is going on at this moment in time? McGeady and Gooch were awful. Grig up front, fighting for scraps. Wyke, Wyke was dire. And I've been seeing player Wyke from the start, 4-4-2. And he was absolutely terrible. It was the worst 45 minutes of football I have seen, I have seen in my entire life. And I've seen some shite. That was the worst 45 minutes. Jack Ross, that was the worst 45 minutes. And you stand on the touchline. You stand there like that. Or like that. And you don't open your mouth once. Bark some fucking instructions out, man, for fuck's sake, man. And after, and after all this, 
We're third, third in the table. But tomorrow, probably Portsmouth will win, Barnsley and Luton will get a treble off. There's your treble tomorrow. Those three teams will probably win, and we are guaranteed a playoff. And that performance, night mind, doesn't even deserve a playoff. Doesn't even deserve a playoff place, that first half performance. Why have we got to take to the second half exactly the same as the match during the week against Blackpool? It took us the second half. I wanted Maguire to start the match tonight. The whole fucking, the whole of Sunderland Football Club. I don't know one single person who didn't want Maguire to start this football match tonight. What, Jack Ross, what are you not seeing? Why isn't Maguire starting? Maguire come on the pitch after, was it 50 fucking five minutes or something like that? And he's shown more desire, more want, more will, more ambition, more passion, more drive. In fucking 10 minutes. And the rest of the team did in the whole of the first half. It was fucking as shocking. Maguire. You fucking did yourself proud tonight. You came on that pitch. And you turned the game around. It was your cross that came over. The ball bounced off someone. And it went to Honeyman. Honeyman put the ball in the back of the net. And was it Maguire again? And passed the ball to McGeady? I don't know. Why wasn't Power on the pitch at half time? Why wasn't Catamore on the pitch at half time? These changes. Jack Ross, you are the fucking manager. You've got to make a statement to these players who are not performing on the pitch. What are you fucking saying to them? At half time, fucking Leadbitter and Honeyman should have been taken off. And brought Catamore and Power on. Obviously you couldn't because Catamore's probably not fit. And again, well done Honeyman. Second half, he came out with a bit of drive, a bit of ambition, but 45 minutes. Why have you got to wait till fucking half time when you're 1-0 down? Sorry, why have you got to wait till you're 2-0 down? Because after the break, Ackwit and Stanley came out and they fucking ripped us a fucking new arsehole for the first 10 minutes and we were 2-0 down. And then finally, Jack Ross said, enough's enough, let's get fucking Maguire on the pitch. And King Maguire turned the game and we got a point again. Another fucking draw. Grig feeding on scraps yet again he had two chances again two half chances he couldn't put them away but he's feeding on scraps there's nothing coming through the midfield no service whatsoever Gooch wasn't at the game tonight again same as the other night 50 minutes I wouldn't even start him against Gillingham Gooch he needs to have a good rest Get, get his fucking his life in order with his newborn bairn because at this moment in time he doesn't deserve to start the match And now what's done tonight? Why is Dunn starting again? Why is our best, one of our best defenders, Flanagan on the bench? It's fucking ridiculous. Jack Ross, Dunn fucking sign contract saying you've got to play players on loan. It's got to be, why on earth is Dunn starting every single game? What gives him the fucking God-given right to start every fucking game since he's coming... You've got to fucking earn the right to play for Sunderland Football Club. Why have you walked straight into the fucking team? Walked fucking straight into this team. And as soon as you've walked straight into this team, we can't win a game of football. Do you know what it is? When Maguire came on the pitch for five minutes, he showed the fucking desire, the fucking drive. And the fucking fans responded. The fans fucking love it. They love it when somebody gives a fucking 110 fucking percent. For me, top two places have gone. Simple as. They've gone. Never mind we're in third place with three points behind Barnsley. Barnsley will beat Wickham tomorrow. And then we won't even go and beat Barnsley away from home anyway. But we've got to turn it around. We need some players on the pitch who want to play for Sunderland Football Club with drive and some ambition and some want and some willing and some fucking just to prove a point. The players in the first half are fucking piss poor. I saw more moves, right? I saw more moves off Wincy at the Wee Chief on the stage than I saw from the fucking whole of the fucking first half from Sunderland Football Club. So, uh, tell everybody what your name is. Uh, <laughs> Difficult <laughs> question, please. Alright, tell everybody your name. Wincy. It's Wincy, Dana. Come have a cheer for Wincy! Wincy, what is the score going to be tonight? The game. No, <laughs> between you two, that's not. Yes, the game. 
Two nil. Two nil. Can you get all the lads singing a southern song? Will Griggs on fire. Your defense is very fine. Will Griggs on fire. Your defense is very fine. Will Griggs on fire. All right, pretty good. This is what we're going to do then. It's a dance off. Right, three rounds. You're going to go first. All right, and then David, then we'll find a winner of each round and see who will be on Sutherland's number one raver. So, Wincy, step forward and give it your best moves. Here is your Alright, here we go, check it out. Alright, Wincy, step back, step forward. You're both fucking nuts. Stop that, can't you? <laughs> right, we need a winner of the first round. If you think if you think you should be wincing, give us a big cheer now. <laughs> Just a fucking boy. <laughs> or if you think it should be dead the round, give us a cheer now. <laughs> Alright, winner of the first round then. And uh, take the round! Yeah! Right, round two. Take the round to go first this time. When you're ready, away. If you think Wincy should win it, there's a cheer now! Yay! Fucking hell, I don't believe it! It's Dave the Red 1, Wincy 1. <laughs> if you win this round, you're going to steal his title of Sutherland's number one raver, alright? <laughs> and you'll get the fucking trophy and everything, alright? So, final round! Wincy to go first, Wincy step forward. <laughs> Wait till it kicks in, this is the bit. Put your hands in there, here. Yeah. Right, you're just warming up. If you do the caterpillar, do you know the caterpillar? Move from Dave the Rave, right. Dave the Rave is now going to attempt the hardest move in raving, the forward roll. Wait, 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 stand up. I'm gonna build it up for you, stand back a bit, alright? Alright, so can everybody give up? Oh. Alright then, step up. We need to find out then who is Sutherland's number one raver. If you think it should be Wincy, give us a big cheer now! Hey. If you think you should be Dave the Rain, give us a cheer now. Yeah. Right then, the winner is, and still, Sutherland's the one winner, Dave the Rain, yeah! To be honest, not, not the biggest injustice wasn't us getting beat 2 0 and then Maguire coming on. The biggest injustice tonight was Wincy getting beat off Dave the Rave at the way cheap, on the stage, giving it all this. It was definitely a dead heat. And I'm sure we fully want Wincy to replace Dave the Rave while Dave the Rave goes for his operation. And we fully will do the business on that stage. Absolutely fantastic dancer. I miss the best bit tonight where he's giving his feet and his legs a hundred mile an hour. His feet were moving faster than any of those Southern players tonight.
we scored the winner with a few minutes to go, but it was ruled offside. And I think it was just offside. But at the end of the day, you can't wait till 55 minutes is up before you start playing football. Look at the fucking them players. Look around at the stadium. Look around at the fans. And you're fucking pissing about on the pitch with no ambition and no drive and no want. People say you're nervous. Fuck nerves. Nerves is for the weak. Get players in that team who want to be strong, who don't have fucking nerves. Who have fucking nerves of steel like Catamore. Catamore should fucking walk back on his side on fucking Tuesday night. And bring power with you. Let's have power and, and greet together. They know each other. They're playing well for each other for a full fucking season. It is fucking pathetic, man. It's pathetic, man. Accurate and Stanley, for fuck's sake, man. Haven't scored a game in five matches and they scored two against us. It's fucking, it is. It's an embarrassment. An embarrassment of football. We thought the last two scenes were bad. We were fucking shite with Ellis Short. And now Stuart Donald's come in. He's turned things around with Jack Ross. But now we need players. Who actually want to play with some passion? Maguire played in the Checker Trade Trophy against Newcastle under 21s and he was the best player on the pitch I think ever since then Jack Ross has dropped him for whatever reason he's been dropped but now he needs to walk back into the team against Julianum and he needs to start every single match from that end of the season because he's got some fucking drive and ambition he's got some will when he scores a goal he celebrates it with the fans he knows what it's like man he's got some passion about him anyway I'm sick as fuck I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to drive my son rolls I'm going to go and have a bit of a pizza some pizza yes some pizza the highlight of my night tonight, apart from was actually getting a couple of goals, was Wincy on the stage at Ray Phillies. Top man, top raver. Uh, Pardon me. I got one gripe as well. Stuart Donald sought the stewards out, right? The stewards are picking fault with everybody and everything in that fucking crowd, right? There's fans at halftime standing up talking to each other and the stewards are complaining, seeing the jumping around. It's half time. We're in a football match. We're not gonna sit there with our fucking arms crossed, doing nothing, fucking getting a knitting out, so a bit of knitting, a bit of sewing, a bit of stitching, reading a book. It's a fucking football match, man, for fuck's sake. Sit down and behave yourself. Fuck you. It's ridiculous. People go in there to pay the hard-earned cash to watch a game of football. Twenty fucking pound to watch that shite tonight. And the kids are paying. Was it five pound to watch a game of football? Hard-earned cash. We go to work all week. And the only relief we get is to go and watch. The only enjoyment we get is we think to go and watch Sunderland play. And the play shite like that. And not just that. The stewards are coming along and telling people to sit down and behave. Fuck off. It's ridiculous, man. He had a football match, man. Gone are the days at Roker Park when you're up there dancing around and singing, jumping around, enjoying yourself. Now you've got to fucking sit down and watch the football match. You're not allowed to stand around and enjoy yourself. Fucking what's the world come to? Stuart Donald, sort this shit out. Tell his stewards to back off. I'm sitting there watching the steward. The woman at the front is going to have a heart attack, shouting and screaming at these kids because they're standing up down here. They're standing up, they're having a bit of fun. They're getting, our team's getting beat. We're getting fucking stuffed off fucking at a shite act on the Stanley side who haven't scored a goal in five matches. We're getting beat. We never had a shot on target the whole of the first half. It was garbage. And these fans are down there. The, the kids are down there laughing and enjoying themselves. And the stewards are telling them off. What's the fucking... Are you trying to chase the fans away from the football match? Really? Eh? Are you trying to chase them away? The fucking 28,000 fans are there. Just chase them all away. Have nobody at the fucking football match whatsoever. It's ridiculous, man. Get a grip of yourself. You're there to enjoy yourself. It's pathetic. Anyway, I've had me fucking rant. We have to be fucking Julian them. Julian them are fourth off bottom, man. We need to start cutting them all. We need to start power. Drop Ledbetter. Drop Honeyman. I mean, Ledbetter's just walked straight to the team. I thought he'd be fantastic, but at this moment in time, hasn't been that good. Honeyman's walked back in from his injury, hasn't been that good. Dunn's just, just, Dunn just walked into the side. Get Flanagan back. Baldwin wasn't great, great tonight, but me, Baldwin and Flanagan together, two people who, who understand each other. 
Get Maguire back on the side. He shows more ambition and more passion and more drive and more will and more want to win a football match than all those players did in the first half. He did it in five fucking minutes being on that pitch. Jack Ross, you should be praising fucking Maguire and starting him, rewarding him with a start against Gillingham. If we don't beat Gillingham, we are fucked. Anyway, I'm going and I'll see you later. What a fucking depressing start of the fucking weekend. Let's hope I win the Euros tonight. I'll win the Euros tonight, 144 fucking million. I'll buy some football club myself and I'll kick some fucking asses. See you later. Best part of the night.